Tossing lithium-ion batteries in the trash or recycling can have serious consequences. Okay, not that bad. That was an oxygen cylinder. But lithium-ion batteries can still cause serious fires as trash gets transported and processed. So what's the right way to get rid of them safely? We've all been there. Our batteries quit working or our devices become outdated or unstable. Most people end up with a box or drawer full of old electronics, unsure what to do with them. While the risk of fire in that scenario is relatively low, it's not ideal to keep them around indefinitely. This video is sponsored by Blazestack Fire Investigation Software. Blazestack is a fully featured fire investigation case management platform that arson and fire investigators rely on to log, document, and report fire investigations. Get a free trial at blazestack.com and request a quote using the discount code STASHED. Some battery types, they can swell over time, turning into what the internet affectionately calls a spicy pillow, something so common it even has its own dedicated subreddit. If a battery starts looking like this, it's a serious problem. Not only does it pose a fire hazard, but disposal also becomes more complicated because it's now classified as a DDR battery, damaged, defective, or recalled battery. If you have a battery like this, it's absolutely a hazard. Just a warning. There are far too many videos online showing how to repair swollen batteries so they can be used again. Do not do this. Not only is there a real risk of causing an immediate fire while attempting this type of repair, but even if it seems to work, the likelihood of a fire while using or charging the device is extremely high. A swollen battery is a clear sign of failure, and once it reaches this point, it's beyond saving. When storing old devices or batteries, keep them in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight and anything flammable. Avoid tossing them in a junk drawer where they can just become damaged or short-circuited by contact with metal objects or other things. Instead, choose an intentional storage location that minimizes fire risk. Somewhere isolated where, if the battery does fail, it won't escalate into a larger fire. Also, limit the number of stored batteries to only what's waiting for disposal. There's no need to hoard a pile of old batteries. Holding on to too many, it only increases the risk. If you have damaged batteries, I recommend storing them in a non-flammable container, like a metal paint can. But before placing the battery inside, be sure to tape the terminals and put that battery in a sandwich bag to protect the terminals from shorting out. The battery should also be completely surrounded by sand or kitty litter to help contain any potential fire. Do not seal the container. If the battery fails and it starts releasing smoke, those gases, they need a way to escape. If trapped, the pressure can build up, leading to a small explosion. Proper storage will reduce the risk while you're figuring out how to properly dispose of those batteries safely. For undamaged lithium-ion batteries or those embedded in devices like cell phones, there are several safe recycling options. My first recommendation is to check with your local community. Many areas have electronics recycling drop-offs or household hazardous waste collection programs. However, not every community accepts lithium-ion batteries, so it's important to verify first. I've been doing a lot of work with the metal recycling industry lately, and I was surprised to find out that the majority of these companies refuse to take lithium-ion batteries. It's because of the hazard and difficulty of disposing of them. But if you have one of these facilities in your area, I do recommend that you reach out because some of them do take e-waste and they're able to recycle these lithium ion batteries properly. If you have a stack of old cell phones, most phone stores have drop-off bins for outdated devices. Another option is call to recycle, which provides a searchable database of locations with drop-off boxes for battery disposal. But wait, why can't I just toss them in the regular recycling bin? The battery has the same recycling symbol as this bin right here. That means it should go in there, right? But here's the issue. Just because it has the recycling symbol doesn't mean it belongs in a regular recycling bin. Lithium ion batteries require special handling because if they become damaged or get crushed, they can short circuit leading to fires. That's why they need to go to designated collection sites, not your curbside bin, where they can end up being crushed and start a fire. Before drop off, make sure the battery is undamaged. If it is embedded in a device, try to reduce the state of charge to below 30% if possible. This helps minimize the fire risk. And be aware that even getting that battery down to zero, it does not eliminate the fire risk. It just helps minimize that fire risk during transport and handling. For loose batteries, always tape the terminals to prevent accidental short circuits. Taking these extra steps ensures these batteries can be safely processed and reduces the chances of a fire at the collection site. Just keep in mind that these programs are designed for end-of-life batteries, not damaged ones. Disposing of damaged batteries requires extra precautions and a different approach. 
Disposing of DDR batteries is more complicated due to strict DOT regulations on their transport. These rules exist because DDR batteries pose a serious fire risk, and there have been multiple incidents where trailers carrying lithium-ion batteries have caught fire or even exploded. As with undamaged batteries, start by checking with your local communities. Some areas have programs that accept DDR batteries. However, if no local options exist, the proper disposal method involves purchasing a specialized shipping kit to send those batteries to a certified recycling facility. Unfortunately, these kits can cost anywhere from $100 to $200, making disposal impractical for most consumers. This is a major issue that needs to change. The cost and difficulty of properly disposing of DDR batteries is too high. It leaves many people without a viable solution. Despite the cost, do not throw these batteries in the trash or regular recycling. I know there's a lot of people out there that typically resort to using call to recycle drop boxes. Sometimes it's just out of ignorance. They don't realize it's a problem. But other people realize that these drop boxes, they're typically unmonitored. But that creates a serious fire hazard for local retailers. This is exactly how lithium-ion battery fires start in stores and recycling centers, putting people and property at risk. Safer and more accessible disposal options need to be available. But until that happens, it's critical to handle DDR batteries responsibly. As I mentioned before, disposing of lithium-ion batteries in standard waste streams, trash, or recycling can cause serious problems. There's been a noticeable increase in fires in trash trucks, waste disposal sites, and recycling sorting facilities, often due to improperly discarded lithium-ion batteries. These fires are dangerous, costly, and difficult to control. To see the issue firsthand, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be visiting a facility in Michigan to walk you through their entire process, from pickup to the final product, and highlight the fire hazards they face along the way. It's important to understand that challenges with lithium-ion battery disposal, they don't end with the consumer. Once these batteries enter the waste stream, they create serious shipping hazards and new risks for firefighters. The way we transport end-of-life batteries needs to change. Right now, many of these batteries are shipped in enclosed trailers, which is a major problem. I've covered this in other videos, but the reality is these shipments pose a significant explosion hazard due to the buildup of flammable gases. That's why I'm pushing so hard right now for this Class 10 placard. It's a first step to make sure these shipments are properly identified on the roadways, reducing the risk for first responders. More importantly, we need safer transport methods that reduce the risk to truck drivers, first responders, and the public. At the end of the day, safely disposing of lithium-ion batteries isn't just about convenience. It's about preventing fires, protecting first responders, and keeping hazardous materials out of the landfills.